This is Jared Horak for today's RacingDigest.com, and this is my first video of 2018. It'll be for, for Saturday, January 6th, of the seventh race from San Anita Park, the Grade 2 San Gabriel, for four year olds and up, nine furlongs on the turf course. Last week we had a video winner in the American Oaks at San Anita, Daddy's Little Darling. Let's see if we can make it back to back video winners for today's Racing Digest. And here's some of the today's Racing Digest. A glossary of terms, things that you're going to hear me say, and, and what they mean. Now, the fire number, uh, a horse's fire number, is basically his the speed throughout a race. It's, it's, a, it's a performance rating. It's his, his, it's his speed throughout a race. The CPR, the Comprehensive Performance Rating, that basically basically takes into account a pace, final time, and closing fraction, and come up with one performance rating. Uh, if I say last fraction, that's just their closing kick in a race. If I say the final rating or pace rating, the pace rating is basically uh, when they're up on the pace, how fast they're running in the early going. The final rating is their overall, uh, just their final time in the race. And let's get right into the San Gabriel in here. Uh, number one, Flamboyant. Uh, he's earned a 141, 144, and 144 Today's Racing Digest final ratings in three of his last four turf starts. His last fraction in his last race, he finished up in 33.2. That was on November 24th. He didn't get a lot of pace help in that race. Uh, he's had seven starts. Uh, actually, in 2017, he had seven starts. Didn't win any, but he had a win, uh, a second, excuse me, and four thirds. So he hit the board in five of those seven starts in 2017. And he did get a 155 CPR number, which is a good number, on November 24th. A uh, number two, Editor. He got a 147 final rating. But that was on synthetic ground at Golden Gate Fields on November 25th. And then in his turf race prior to that at Santa Anita at 9 furlongs, a 143 final rating. He'll have to pick it up a bit. A number three, top of the game. He's switching surfaces. Now if you use his dirt numbers at Santa Anita, his last three dirt routes at Santa Anita, he got 147 and a pair of 143 final ratings. But he is 0 for 3 on turf, so he has to prove himself on this surface. Number four, win the space. 20 to 1 morning line. Interesting long shot in here. He got a 147 final rating on November 26th with a 158 CPR and a 114 fire rating. So he got some good numbers. He ended up finishing fifth in that race, so the, the, the horses up in front of him, they were really hustling in that race. He's won for five overall on turf. Rafael Bejarano is going to ride back. He has won on him before. And with this trainer, Bejarano is two for seven with a second and a third. Uh, he finished uh, second in the, um, in the grade one gold cup at Santa Anita on dirt. Uh, a couple of times he finished third in the grade one. Awesome again. So he is a, he's a classy horse, at least on the main track. And we know he can handle turf. And I think he can maybe sit back and rally and, and possibly hit the board. Number five, Tequila Joe. His last three turf final ratings, 137, 135, and 134. He's a bit behind the others. He's going to have to run faster today. He does have some early pressing speed. Isotherms coming off of a layoff. This is his first start since March 11th of 2017. And his last of uh, three final ratings on turf, 146, 141, 134, uh, he, he could need this race. Uh, he, he's, he's got the ability to win it, but I think he might need it. He does have two six for long bullets for this, and he'll probably stalk the pace. Uh, number seven, he will. It looks like a solid contender in here. He got a 158 final rating last time, a 137 before that. He's very sharp, coming off strong back-to-back -back efforts. And the show finisher from his last race, Pee Wee Reese, came back. And he won a six and a half furlong turf stakes race at Santa Anita. Uh, so that was a nice effort on January 1st. So he will, will sit back, he'll make a late run. His CPR rating last time was 164. He got a 111 fire rating. Strong numbers across the board. And his last fraction, his, in his last couple starts, he finished up in 34 and change. There's a lot to like about he will. Number eight, it's in the post as your morning line favorite. He typically earns solid final ratings. In the 134 to 147 range in his last six, he was a three-time graded stakes winner in turf routes in 2017. And here is the Today's Racing Digest power stat of the day for his trainer, Jeff Mullins. 60-plus day layoff runners, uh, 19 starts with six wins, four seconds, and a third. That's 32% wins. Uh, good trainer stat there for trainer Jeff Mullins. He's classy. He probably wants more distance, but he's won at nine furlongs before. Number nine, Free Rose. Should be up on the pace. And he earns between 134 and 150 of final rating range in his last six. Like I said, he, he will be a pace factor, but I think he prefers the Del Mar turf course, and he could need the race as well. And then number 10, Smoky Image, rounds out the field. He did get a 147 final rating at a mile on turf uh, on May 20th. 
but he's facing tough company in here. He will show some speed. Now, my top four contenders uh, in this great two, San Gabriel. Number seven, he wills my top choice. Number eight, it's in the post, my second choice. Number one, flamboyance, my third choice. Number four, win the space, my fourth choice in my live long shot. We're going to make a win wager on number seven, he will. We're going to play an exacta box with he will, and it's in the post. That's a seven and eight. Come back and play another exacta, seven and eight, on top of my other two contenders, the one and four, and then a trifecta. We'll put seven and eight on top, we'll put all in second, and then one and four in the third position. If you're interested in this complete digest for San Anita Park for Saturday, January 6, 2018, go over to todaysracingdigest.com. You can find that in the product section. And if you're interested in my full card analysis each day from San Anita Park, you can also find that at todaysracingdigest.com. That'll wrap up this week's video. We'll be back next week with another stakes race from around the...